XL Prime League. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Cactus Valley for game number one of our third series of the day. This is the Group B Losers match. As Tempo mentioned, it's sad, but one of these players will be going home after this best of three. Who will it be? Well, in the south, we've got the Zerg component of this ZVP. Representing Psystorm Gaming, this is Ender. Pretty nice series of rams you had there, Cybert. That's nice. And spawning in the top left corner, he is the yellow Protoss player. It is our North American representing Brawl Esports. It Zeal. It Zeal. <laughs> I was going to say it is. And then I was going to say it's. And then it just what? ended up being it Zeal. But... It Zeal. Like it me, JP. You ever heard of uh, JP McDaniel? I remember 2011. <laughs> MLG. Like, it me, JP. <laughs> That's what I think now. No, actually, uh, it me, JP, he still does, what is it, role play? Oh, and then yeah, he yeah, does yeah. all sorts of podcasty things. And yeah. I believe so. I'm not one of those people who's, like, super salty, but yeah. I don't know. Zeal might be a little bit salty if he knew that this was a 12 pool. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely something you need to pay attention to, as uh, he will get a good scout here. Is that the first scout? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Yeah, Zeal. He sent out two probes. Is he oh, wait a second. Whoa, oh, I mean, he did. Slick, Sly Fox. That's the thing, is he probably was, but and I imagine like... now... <laughs> oh. He's not going to, right? He's, like, no, there's, I mean, he can't. He had better not. He can't. Like, there's in there. There's unless he snuck his probe somehow, and was able to catch. Uh, z catch. Oh, this is so dirty. Ender. 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 He is mm. actually gonna proxy mm. his hatchery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is like the ultimate. Oh, this. That's how we do. Yeah. Luckily for him, though. <laughs> so luckily for his heel, the cannon is in range of the hatchery, so definitely could have been a lot worse, I would assume. But hey, not too bad. He did not measure that distance very well, because proxy hatching into a cannon and there's probes off the line. Like, oh, if he could get these lings inside, though, that'd be pretty dope. He cannot. Ooh. Nice pylon block with the cannon oh, there. Oh, he didn't cancel the hatchery. Oh. Ender. Ender. Tried to wait until the last second. Maybe didn't really factor in the DPS of two cannons. And that is a win mm. for Zeal. Remember before we were talking about it during the rain game? Like, hey, who do you think could possibly be ahead here? I would definitely put it in Zeal's favor now. Even if he has a third one on the way. We'll see if Ender can somehow, some way, kind of uh, roll this back. Fortunately, he does, as you are referencing there. He's got that third hatch on the way, and this time it's a it's a real hatch, not a third proxy <laughs> hatch. Nothing I mean, like there's a lot of real estate inside of the main on Cactus Valley, but no, you are correct. Right. It is going to be in the right spot. He's finally made the correct choice, and he's going to be looking around with his lings as well, just getting that extra bit of scouting until he's like, are you doing anything sneaky, any hidden tech? any proxy anything or potentially some sort of like white raw hide a nexus sort of thing mm -hmm. recall probes something ridiculous yeah he's actually checking that's really nice you don't see that ever or uh, not enough i would say so anytime you open the game in such a weird kind of way especially with a proxy um these are the kind of things you do want to look around for with these two lings as opposed to those well i wouldn't say as opposed to like proxy pylons but I would say in addition to things like proxy pylons for a really quick follow-up attack. Mm -hmm. But oh, it didn't really go well for it. It's not like it went well for Ender, so I'm thinking in my head, I think Zeal is perfectly fine just by having this base for now. Um, Certainly trying to saturate up those three bases. Doesn't quite have enough drones just yet, but he's been putting out some pretty good rounds of drones, trying to catch up in that respect, and for a little while, he was kind of down on the drone count, but there we go. There's a nice round of nine drones that should put yeah. him 
a bit closer to that three base saturation that he wants to be at. Mm -hmm. Losing that hatchery meant that his queens were a little bit delayed, but now they are going to be out. The larva is going to start flowing, and all the gas is going to be taken. So mm -hmm. I think that is a little bit of an adjustment he made, waiting up until that 40-ish, 40-something-ish drones before taking any gas, period. Um, which is something you used to see back in the day, I would say, um, when Ford's fast expands were a little bit more popular. But even then, it would be like two gases in order to uh, get Lair or something and scout and see what's up. Four gases, eh? You can do a lot with it, but your mineral income is going to be a little bit less. So, Well, more and more drones being added on. And ordinarily, we do expect him to head towards that like 60, 66, somewhere around there drone count as... Uh, well, you mentioned the roaches and the lair, and that currently is on the way. The nice thing for Zeal is that he had already started his uh, already started his robo quite a while ago, his robo facility, and he's got two immortals and some sentries, so Whoa. as long as he doesn't get caught out... Ooh, this warp prism could also be a tricky part of the bargain it's for Ender to deal with. a lot of gateways as well coming out of here from Zeal, mm -hmm. and even that plus one has completed. He's going into it. How many gateways are you going to make, my friend? Warp gates, he's going to that seven gate robo. I think we're just going to see the most, uh, you know, immortal sentry in its purest form. Seven gate robo with the plus one, just straight up against somebody who's droning up to 57. So, hmm. not quite the greediest he could be, but also, uh, you hmm. know, not cutting at that point where. Those force fields protecting that uh, protecting that proxy pylon. Very nicely done there. Not sure that it's going to be super important as we do have the warp prism and additional proxy pylons on the way, but naturally force field's going to be very important if Zeal can find a way to get his, what is soon going to be like 35 roaches onto this army. If he could snipe down those sentries. Actually, the sentries are just kind of bleeding out a lot of energy, not really getting too many kills. Yeah, these sentries have not gotten any uh, real good force fields yet. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if a has gone down. Like, it's... I mean, I'm sure they have. Four roaches in total have gone down, but they're not like any of those great force fields where you were able to segment them out and just mm -hmm. take out a huge section of them. Yeah, really shaving down that army can be extremely important for the Protoss player. In this particular case, he is going to be pushing on forward. There's two groups of roaches in between the main or in between the natural and the third base. They're going to be pushing in for a bit of a flank attack. Zealots, of course, going to be tanking, trying to deal with the roaches while the stalkers and the uh, mortals are going to be trying to cleave away at the bigger numbers. Roaches still going to be going pretty much for a complete surround, warping in directly onto the front line. A couple of zealots, but this uh -oh. queen starting to work away. And is this enough roaches? Does he barely I think have it enough? Might be. I love the micro coming out of Zeal, but he's running out of steam. He is down half in supply, and he yeah he cut probes at 38 in order to make this work. So even with Ender mm -hmm. pulling all of those drones, he's still up by 12, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. 12 probes went down as well, so he was, you know, up by about 24 before that actually kicked off, and he does have to deal with these roaches uh, back home. He does have a couple of sentries, which is good. Of course, zealots can block the way a little bit as well, but really the immortals and the uh, and the sentries are what you're going to be looking for, and of course, if you got that warp prism micro, which he does a little bit. <laughs> yeah. close. I like it, though. Very I mean, nice. this is what you need to do. He's just weakening them down while the force fields were buying the time. Ooh. Very nice control. Not uh, not necessarily like the the hero level. If you if you think back to oh, some yep, yeah. hero versus Jadong, like 60 kill on Yonsu. Uh, Ariel versus uh, Symbol, I believe yeah. it was. Oh, curious, Curious. Was it Curious or Symbol? I think it was Symbol. I'm not sure. I know it was Arium, but uh, yeah, he's had some sick micro as well. And maybe if Zeal can bust that out, he can certainly even the score up between him and Ender because there's a 39 supply count difference or a 29 supply count difference, which he has to make up for with some very cost effective units. Yo, oh, Roach is getting on top of one of the Immortals, getting pushed back Whoa. by the Zealots, not quite <laughs> able so to finish low. off. Ooh. Like, dangerously low. No shields left, just a little bit of HP. Roaches step forward once again. Burrow is going to complete in just a few seconds, about 25. 
Yes, there is an observer on the map, and it is with this army, but the Hydras are complete. Here comes the flank. Are there any force fields? There are no force fields at all. However, I don't know if the Hydras have their range yet. Yes, they do. They don't have any buffer in front of them, but he's going for the warp prism. Down goes the warp prism. Down goes the warp in. Oh, what? He's cutting through these Hydras, but it's more about the reinforcements. If he can hold this attack, he's cleaned up some of the more expensive units. GG, Ender takes it, sniping those three Immortals, cutting down that War Prism. No more reinforcements for Zeal. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on Terraform, and... Uh, I believe it is game number two as we do spawn in this guy showing that he does not want to go out without a f go out without a fight as he has lost to a protoss before but it will not happen again at least that's what he's thinking it is Psy storms ender ooh buddy ooh 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 we have got one heck of a game on our hands because down in the south going for that forge first looking for that cannon rush this is representing Brawl Esports, the yellow Protoss player, Zeal! Oh man, and he's gonna be able to meet that hatch first, but he already put down a pylon and is about to put a nexus it looks like, so maybe this is some kind of fake. Nope, he's going for it, I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Cannon is on the way, the second hatchery before the pool also on the way. Because hey, you know what? Wow. What the heck? You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna get cannon rushed, might as well go for the opportunity, get yourself another spot to be cannon rushed. <laughs> I love it, the logic that uh Ender here is presenting, as he does go for it anyway. I don't know if he realized that um he might have thought that it might have been a bluff at first. But no, man, this is going to have to be canceled. And Zeal so smartly cancels two of the cannons right in time. And even sends another probe. So he's going to be able to get this cannon hmm. off, too. Oh, this could be pretty devastating uh, for Ender. Certainly a very awkward start to this game. And for those of you guys who are just joining us, just before we went into the break before this game, we were kind of discussing, like, you know, one of these guys came from Season 4 Challenger, one of them came from Season 5, we couldn't quite remember it. It was indeed Zeal, who came from Season 5, and he did it over the dead body of Ender. Mm -hmm. So just, like, last week or the week before, these guys played a Best of 7, in which Zeal advanced to the finals of Season 5 Challenger, and he did it over Ender. So Ender, you know, I don't know what the- whoa, whoa, that was not a cancel. Uh, that no. proxy hatch was not a cancel. Again! Hmm. A little bit... I, I just don't understand. Uh, that, that is the second time that it's happened here. And if he cancels it, it is just so much better. Especially on a map like Terraform, where there is a gold base. Uh, although, although, the cannon placement in the natural is pretty annoying for Ender, no matter what. As uh, it will kill anything that does try to get by it. I don't think anything is getting by that at all. Unless you send a lot. He's even going to cannon the gold. This is just, it's turning into one of those, like, in-control extended <laughs> cannon party sort of thing. so true. <laughs> or maybe, like, uh, Fear Dragon, if you've ever watched that guy stream, he'll cannon rush just basically <laughs> forever against the Zerg. He was talking about that as well, yeah. Hey, man, he's doing it. I mean, it's going to work out. Uh, but, of course, wow. Ender, this is, like, the proxy base because he does at least have one here. Uh, on the top-ish area. Mm-hmm. At least he's got something. Something, right? He's not going to totally be boned on, like, one, boss, one base. Although, I've loved to see some Zerg players go for that one base Nidus. So, while all of this is happening and you're pretending to take bases, you're actually teching up to Lair. And, um... I mean, look at Zeal's base. We've seen him kind of neglect to have full vision on it. Even on Cactus Valley, it was very similar. Where he had a bit of vision, but never full vision. Well, oh, that one gets cancelled, and the drone survives over at the gold. Eight roaches on the way, which, if this was a different game, it would be like, alright, you got your standard eight roaches pumped out after the roach warren finishes. 
you know, hopefully you're on two or three hatcheries. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> In this, I mean, and by that I mean like the, the second hatchery finished before the seven minute mark. Exactly. In I mean, this particular case, it's just such an awkward opener. These roaches, they're going to try to get something done. They actually might be able to, you know. Uh, where is the cyber core? It is uh, completed, but is there a mothership core out just yet? I don't see it, although there is a sentry. Oh. Uh, little does Zeal know that there are a few more roaches here. If he can get that cannon, that would be really nice, but he has to do it before those other two get out. Because before that happens, I mean, he's going to buy time for the Mothership core. He'll buy time for Immortals if he decides to go for that. Oh, boy. There he goes in. He is cybered, and down goes cannon number one, and there's a force field. And the Zelt starting to take away some of that damage. Another cannon about to get shot down. It gets eliminated. The third cannon will be denied, but it does get a couple of kills. Well, at least one kill. Five more roaches showing up. One of the Zealots was already weakened due to the uh, range on those roaches and they're starting to bust down the front it's mostly probes here to hold the line there's another force field going down but is it enough i mean he's using so much money he remember how much he's invested on the other side of the map as well mm -hmm. in all those cannons that aren't really doing anything oh the other cannon will go down oh. it does get canceled and the roaches are in gg whoa and there Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to support the ASL by hitting the button now.